Now, I have a question just to not get off. But do you too, when you go in to buy a name, I just use my name and Drew and I have talked about it. Drew's gotten to the point where it's helpful. At first, when he went in there, they would raise the price because he's Drew and they think he's going to pay a lot. But then it's actually changed because they knew Drew will buy the name, that he's there to buy and that they're going to give him a price that's a sellable price because they know that he's not going to be there and waste his time, which I thought was, you know, that's what, that's so I changed. I just said, Hey, I'm domain Shane or I'm Shane culture and I'm coming to buy the name. I'm not Johnny Montgomery and I'm in eighth grade and I want to do a site. I just say my name. Do you both go in with your own name or do you use alternate names or can I, or can you even ask a question? I'm happy to answer it. I use my full name on everything, on all forums, on bidding, on uh, emails. Um, I fully believe in transparency in every aspect of this industry. And uh, I think it's ridiculous to hide behind an alias. And, you know, I, and I also believe that the, the value is the value is the value. And um, like Drew, I have found that if I'm transparent about who I am, people are like, oh, well, she gets it. So let's just have, be, have a fair and reasonable uh, conversation and, and make something happen versus hiding behind crazy yeah. identities. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm not using my real name right now. Um, <laughs> and, and, and this is an avatar. <laughs> So that's how I, I feel. No, I, I just use my real name, uh, bidding on Namejet, whatever. It's just, it's just my name or, or legal brand. So everybody knows it's me. I don't, I don't hide um, who I am. I mean, sometimes I might get bid up because they think that I can afford it. Um, but I'm going to pay what I'm going to pay. So it, right. it doesn't matter. When I'm reaching out, maybe it's an end user, um, definitely use my real name because you know, who the hell am I? That they can Google me and then they can see that I'm like a legitimate person that's really in this space. So I think it's helpful in that case. Yeah, I agree. Especially if you're um, working with people who bought domains in the 90s and there was a lot of confusion, lack of transparency, ability to lose domains, especially unfairly. If you're selling intangible assets and I think, um, you know, particularly Braden and Kate were looking frequently at five, six, and seven figure transactions. Something needs to be transparent. You can't even touch what you're selling. Um, it's not like somebody's showing up with suitcases of cash at your front door. Well, so, uh, <laughs> no, the only thing you really, have to for organibus. We don't want, like credit cards. I, I'm getting I, on a plane right after this. Make you an offer.